I am Rose, Rose Sinclair, Sinclair, newly, newly appointed, appointed CEO of the Super Hotel, Hotel Group, the most luxurious, luxurious hospitality and lifestyle, and lifestyle brand in the world. Of course, of course on my, on my first, first day. day. We are a problem partner. Flagship Supria Hotel accused of workplace abuse? This is bullshit. You heard him right. I inherited a hot mess of harassment and abuse, but the brand won't be tarnished under my watch. I'm going undercover to cut this off at the source and reinvent our hotel's image. What can I do to help? I'll handle this myself. Time to clean house. Your one job was to clean the floor, and you can't even do that right. Cherry, I am so sorry. Underperforming idiots do not deserve to keep their jobs. No need to be rude, Cherry. She's a professional and deserves your respect. Who said that? I'm your manager. You need to listen to me or you will be fired. All of you. Do you understand? Hey, that's not cool. It's not how we roll here at the hotel. Everybody needs to play fair. <laughs> it's okay, let it go. Fair. <laughs> I'll show you my version fair. That's dirty. Clean it up. Now! Yes, ma'am. Yeah! Did Ow. you just step on her? Can it, new girl? If you kneel and clean the shoe, I'll forgive you. How dare you? Show some decency. Ma'am, you don't need to do this. You don't understand. I have to clean her shoes or bad things are going to happen. I can't afford it. No! You've ruined my shoes! Your nasty ass feet ruined your shoes a long time ago. There are only a hundred pairs of these in the world and they cost one hundred grand each. A hundred grand? We can't afford that. Please forgive us. I will forgive you if you kneel and apologize. I apologize. I am so sorry. Don't degrade yourself. I need this job. My son is sick. What is this brainwashing? She's not paying you. She's not kneeling anymore. And she sure as hell is not cleaning your shoes. Go on here. Brad. Nice of you to join us. We have a serious assault issue going on here. I need to speak to a supervisor. Cherry here has been abusing her staff. Cherry? Cherry is kind and honest. I don't know who you are, housekeeper, but I'd fall back in line before you regret it. Please just keep it. Brad and Cherry are brutal. I am terrified of them. That explains it. The hotel is looking into allegations of assault. If I were you, I'd watch your step, or you'd regret it. Wow. The help telling a superior how to do his job. Ladies, I just remembered, the restrooms need to be cleaned. Again. Get to it. That's just politics, baby. Don't worry, we'll get that hot ass promoted soon. Oh, oh careful. I scratch when I'm pissed off. Nosy Rose is about to meet Scary Cherry. Yeah, you did good, though. I do this every day. It's exhausting. Is that your son? He's adorable. He has a heart condition. I'm saving money for his surgery. Mary, I could probably help with that. <laughs> Search their lockers. Cherry? What's wrong with you? My diamond necklace is missing. You two degenerates with the subjects. You planted that. This is undeniable evidence, you stinky bitch thief. We will not tolerate this abuse. Stripper, there might be more. Get your hands off of her. Cherry, please, you don't have to do this. Oh, are you begging? Fine. I'll let you off the hook if you kneel. Kneel? I'm not stand this grotesque abuse of power. There's cameras. We'll see about that. Did you listen? 
You taught this urchin to steal? No, he's not a thief. Let me go! Benji! Let him go! Mom! Well, what was he doing in there, then? I got her present for Mommy to surprise her. Today's her birthday. You little shit. You stole from me and you put it in your mom's locker. I just picked a flower, that's it. You're fired. Get these farm animals out of here. Who's getting fired? Mike Mike may have have seen me in meetings. I'm the manager. It's chain of command. I'll tell you who's getting fired. Mike, they stole my necklace. They need to be punished. Did you do it? No, we didn't steal anything. Liars! I found my necklace in your locker, and there is footage. Yeah. Sorry. All evidence points to you. Mike, we didn't steal anything. That footage is bogus. She probably planted it herself. That's bullshit. Why would Cherry fabricate evidence? So, what, because we're housekeepers, we can't defend ourselves? Fine. Take a good look at who you're talking to. Oh. Right, you're, uh... I don't give a shit who you are. Of course. Of course you don't know who I am yet. You probably know my AP, Clark. Scumbag garbage pickers wouldn't know Clark. Hey, boys, let's get him out of here. Let's go. Bamboos, scram, time to go. Hey! We'll talk to you later. Stop it! George, my mom is not a thief. Benji! Benji! Oh, brother. Wait. You monster! You just pushed a child. No, I didn't. You pushed him. Everybody saw you. That's called gaslighting. Yo, toots. It's like six figgies on that car. Go take the little kid up for a little bit, you know? Manage him up. Jerry, no. I saw her. She did it. Larry. Gross. I'm so sorry. I have no choice. It's all my fault. This is exactly what they want you to think. Benji? Benji? Mommy, I saw that lady put the necklace in the locker. Wait! You said I could have that! Sorry, lady, but I can't go spending all my money on that little cranky thing. You know what? I didn't want to do this, but enough is enough. You're fired, Mike. <laughs> You're fired. Get lost. You're done. Oh, yeah? Who are you calling? Clark? Clark. Prepare the dismissal. Papers on, Mike. Do you know who Clark is? He is the VP of the Superior Group Hotel. He's not going to waste his time on dirt dusters like you. If Clark came down here, I'd water around the whole place naked. <laughs> Ah, right on time. What's going on here? What's going on here? Ah, Clark, thank you. This stinky little idiot assaulted me. Excuse me? Yeah. This is Rose Sinclair, hotel president. Who's the idiot now, Mike? That isn't Clark. It can't be. I know Clark. That ain't him. This guy's IQ must be like five. What is this? I'm sorry, ma'am. He's just an assistant manager in HR. I haven't given him any direct orders, so maybe he doesn't recognize me. This is all so absurd. I'm sick of the circus. You know what to do. Get the head of department down here immediately. Eh. Hello. I know, it's totally bogus. All right, cool. Well... It's your lucky day. The president's gonna come down here and take care of this yourself. Let's go, boys! Don't get too comfortable, girly. Where do you find these guys? Sorry about Mike, ma'am. I wonder if they're really that brazen or just plain stupid. I'll fire all those mouth breathers right now. Not yet. 
This issue is way more complex than just these supervisors. Someone emboldened them. I'll keep my cover as a housekeeper and find out who. That's risky, ma'am. I'm in control. I'll end this travesty and save the hotel's reputation. By the way, Mary needs 200 grand for Benji's surgery. Tell her we'd love to lend a hand. Yes, ma'am. The passion pay for that crusty housekeeper. Mary the bottom feeder. Compassion pay? How ridiculously woke. Your son already has one foot in the grave. What a terrible waste. I'll keep this on his behalf. Fucking video today. <laughs> Brad, this is the first and the last time I'll ask for an advance in my salary. My son is sick and I need the money for his surgery. Please. You know, if you're gonna beg, you beg properly. There we go. I'm begging you, please. Well, you know how it goes. You've got to wait until payday. But maybe I could give you a personal cash advance for your kid's funeral expenses. <laughs> Did you give Mary the check? I gave the check to HR. He must have not given it to her. What the hell kind of HR department do we have here? What are you doing? You creatures won't get away with this assault at my hotel. Can you shut up? I'm trying to aim. Brad, you promised me ten grand for the video. And you would be saved with that. Just keep filming. How gauche to trade your dignity for money and clicks. You don't understand. I'm trying to save my son's life. It means everything to me. Mary, you don't have to do this. The hotel is giving you compassion pay. The hotel is going to help me? Yes. All right, let's clear this up. Uh, compassion pay? No such thing. Uh, even if there was, it wouldn't go to you two idiots. Look, housekeeper, your son is gone. Kaput. He's just going to be another bottom feeder like you with their hands out. You're going to be punished for these atrocious remarks, Brad. It's no compassion pay for the help. Understood? It's lies. I signed the check myself. Then why don't you fund her son's surgery yourself, Miss President? How can you keep telling such deceitful lies with that hideous bitch mouth of yours? I'm not lying, you lipstick goblin. Uh. Mary, you believe me, right? I want to believe you, Rose, but I bet you can't wait. Keep rolling, Cherry. Mary, please, don't do this. I'm done with this old hag. I want to slap her. <laughs> 